I'd like today to kind of illustrate how doodles is a form of meditation. It allows your heart rate to go down because you're regulating your breathing while you doodle in a rhythmic fashion and then it eventually moves into your creative mindset. Let me illustrate. So in the process of doodling, if you can just over and over move from right to left or left to right and just very consciously repeating the same pattern. In the process of this, you are actually getting your brain, your eyes, your brain waves, and your heart rate to go in synchronization with the rhythm of your doodle that's repetitive, and even your breathing, which really is in control of your heart, becomes more regulated. And people who are in a state of panic tend to dysregulate their breathing. In a state of anxiety, tend to dysregulate their breathing. Now, there are all sorts of common ways that you can create a pattern that goes over and over again. Roundness is an easy way to do it, and, if, and it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, the whole goal of this is not necessarily to engage in perfection. Now, you can consciously slow it down as well. And in the slowing of it down consciously, doing it enough times, you actually find your breathing slows down, which slows down your heart, which allows you to no longer be in a state of panic. And we haven't yet moved into creativity. Again, a form of meditation. Now, after you've deliberately slowed it down, and had tolerance for the imprecision of it all, you begin to realize that your imprecision and your slowing down is creating something that you didn't really intend to create. And your brain will begin with its slowed down waves that have probably shifted from gamma to beta to alpha to theta that suddenly you shift into a creative mindset. And your creativity is released because precision is no longer the goal. And because your brain got involved in the activity you were doing because you were no longer just regulating your anxiety, your panic, or your breathing. Now you were giving space to the portion of your brain that could just go with whatever it felt it wanted to do. Then if you feel the anxiety increasing inside of you, you can go back to just repetitive movements and then slowing them down. While you slow down your breathing. And folks, this is the way to use doodles to create a meditation that can reduce panic type breathing and reduce anxiety type brain patterns. And just as simple as taking a three minute doodle break where you consciously do it, but also shift yourself into the unconsciousness of repetitiveness. Talk soon.